So then my next question that I would ask myself after I realized, yep, my life is moving in the direction of my most powerful thoughts is, do I like the direction my thoughts are taking me? And the answer to that in that moment was absolutely no, I don't like this. I don't, I don't like how I feel. I don't like my lack of community that I have. I don't like this depression that I feel every day. Uh, I don't like the direction my thoughts are taking me. So then the next logical thing is, well, we need to change your thoughts, Pete. You know, we, we got we to gotta think better thoughts, think more true things, more noble things. Mm. And that really, for me, was a huge turnaround for me to understand and begin to realize the power of my thought life and how it would impact me. This is huge. And maybe to ex extrapolate on this idea a little bit, life, your life, my life, the engineering leader who's listening right now, their life is moving in the direction of our most powerful thoughts. So for me, the first question that pops into my head hearing that is, what are my most powerful thoughts then? How do I get clear on what that is? What would you give someone or how would you recommend we explore that? If somebody, yeah. maybe this is the first time they're hearing that idea or they're curious about like, okay, so what direction am I actually going? How do you understand what that really looks like for you individually? What what are my most powerful thoughts? Yeah, it's interesting because most people think, and this is true of almost every one of my clients. I'm sure it's true of your clients, true of people listening to this podcast right now. We think our problems are out there, right? They're out there in the world. I, I don't have enough money to pull off what I want to pull off. I don't have enough education. I'm too old. I'm too young. I mean, yeah. we think all of our problems, it's something out there. And the reality is it's almost always here in our mind. That's where it really resides. And so there's a little tool that I use that really helps me. And it's perfect because it really combines the two things we've talked about so far, the created life versus default life, and that this idea that your life's moving in the direction of most powerful thoughts. So there's three questions that I ask myself every single morning. Oof. And I've been working through this for a while, and this has been really helpful. So the three questions are this. How will I create myself today? How will I create others around me? And then how will I create the world today? Now, I know for engineers, this is gonna feel like a stretch, right? This whole idea of your thoughts and starting your day in this way. But I walk through those three questions. The, the question of how do I create myself today is, who am I as I show up, right? And I could start my day by saying, you know what? I'm. I'm not a good husband and I need to be a more attentive dad. My kids don't listen to me or, uh, you know, I can spin off all these thoughts sure. like we often do when we start a day, how stressful today is going to be. You're not going to be able to solve this or figure this out. But I choose every morning when I ask that question of how do I create myself today? I literally write out how I'm showing up, how I'm showing up to my work for that day. You know, I'll often write things like I am really good at coaching high achieving people. I'll write things down like, I love being a great husband and dad. I, I really do. I love being a dad. I love being a husband. And I just kind of write out, again, how I want to show up. Because what I'm doing in that moment is, I'm again, I'm creating those thoughts around who I am. Mm -hmm. And my life is going to move in that direction. And then, again, I ask myself, how am I creating others around me? And again, for some people, this feels like a stretch because you're like, well, I can't change them. And you're right, you can't change them, but you can completely change how you interact with them. Yes. Which then changes them. And so uh, let's take today for an example. I could have been approaching this podcast and thought, oh man, I'm, I'm so nervous. Maybe Zach's going to ask me you know, really hard questions and I don't know the answer to it. And I start getting nervous and I start spinning off all these worst case scenarios. Or like today, because I, when I talk about how am I creating others around me? I look through my schedule for the day, right? I see, oh, I've got a podcast interview with Zach today. Man, I'm excited about that. I've done some research on you and on the podcast. I love the work this guy's doing. This guy's for me, right? He wants me to succeed. He wants me to do well. Like he's inviting me to be on his podcast. He believes in me so much. So why would I have any nervousness about it, right? And I literally will go through that. If I think about my wife and who she is and who I want her to be, how I want to interact with her. And then the, that third one, how I create the world today, I think it's a really important one too, because I believe that life is happening for me, mm -hmm. not to me, right? 
Good. And so I can sit there and spin off all kinds of worst case scenarios. The economy is terrible. Politics are out of control. Sure. Or I can choose to say, you know what? I'm going to create the world I live in. And I live in a world where the vast majority of people are doing the best they possibly can. I believe I have a friendly God who loves me. And I just kind of think about this world that I'm living in and the world that I want to live in. Because again, I'm trying to create my thoughts around the kind of life that I want to live. 